Hi folks, my name is Mats Johansson and I work as Program Manager at IFS Manufacturing Research and Development. In this short video I will show a few features our demand-driven MRP solution. So here in this component summarized reuse page we help you to identify possible components to buffer. We have lots of useful columns uh, like for example the unprotected lead time and then we have number of products that the component exists in some cost information supplier ID if the component is purchased so there are an awful lot of columns here to assist you so let's say that we have identified a part which we will buffer then it's just a matter of selecting it and then run the command set as buffered part so I will do that and now it has become buffered and in IFS we have a planning method for, for the buffered part and that is the planning method H so now I will move to the demand driven MRP lobby. It's a very visual health check of how the DDMRP system is doing. It is simple and focused. We have five counter elements for demand driven planning. The element shows number of parts within, within each buffer zone. And when the status is black, red and yellow, MRP creates plan supply and then we also have five different counter elements for demand driven execution again the element shows the number of parts within each buffer zone and when it comes to demand driven execution we are talking about execution buffer status indeed MRP execution is the management of open supply orders against buffer status so let's drill down to the parts behind this yellow counter and that takes me to a page called demand driven planning for parts. In this page we see the result after an MRP calculation. All the parts here that we see have been exposed to the net flow equation. The lower percentage we see here in the planning priority the higher planning priority this relative priority distinction between parts is very different from conventional MRP with MRP you should act or not act with regard to each part so from this page I can uh, authorize my pur purchase order so then I can navigate to uh, purchase site here because in this case it was purchased components okay so let us summarize what makes IFS DDMRP relevant it is an embedded part of our MRP it provides simple solutions to complex challenges it is visual and easy to understand. Okay, so with that I will say thank you for watching and please subscribe to IFS YouTube channel.